in 20 something years back, it is very hard for you to see Muslim sisters or girl child education in Ghana, especially the sisters side. So in Ghana here, in our era, what we can say is Alhamdulillah. Because if you look at in our era, we have everything we need in Ghana. Everything the Muslims need in Ghana, we have everything. It is just how to manage, how to control it, how to make it better for us all. But we have everything. If you look at it before, it is not even easy in Ghana to find even JSS school for Muslims. It's not easy for you to find that. We are far behind. You understand the point? So right now, when you go to Kumasi, you go everywhere from uh, Karachi, KG, Form 1, all the way up to SS, JHS, um, SSS, and then even universe, Islamic University. We have an Islamic uh, nursing school. Now we are also building in future. We already acquired the land. We are also going to build, uh, what do you call it, a school for deaf and mute. We are building a school in Ashanti region. We're going to do that. And the one in Accra is a what? Islamic school for blind, for the blind Muslims. It was, it, this is not anything hate with the other religion or something. Muslims, we are Muslims. Christians are Christians. Buddhisms are Buddhisms. Each one of us has their own religion and how they practice their religion. So in when you come to in terms of Muslims, we have so many things which the Muslim girl child need to know about herself. Without going to the Muslim school or without going to the Muslim uh, scholars for you to know that, no teacher or scientist can teach you that. Even if a teacher or as any scientist can teach you that, they learn it directly from the what? From the Quran or the Sunnah of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So that, in that nutshell, we the Muslims of Ghana, we should be always thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Like having this nursing Islamic school, I wish all the Muslims of Ghana can bring the even their word here. Not even only the Muslims, even the non-Muslims. All the schools that says Islamic school for this. We have a nursing Islamic nursing school. Accra Newtown Islamic Hospital. We have, when you go to Wa, we have a clinic for Muslims. When you go to Accra here, Islamic, uh, what do you call it? Uh, First Islamic School for Blind. All the way that you see Islam, Islam. It is not only for Muslims, it is for all faith. Because Prophet Muhammad and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not come bring Prophet Muhammad to be for Muslims only. It is for all womankind. So having an institution for Islamic school or Islamic this and that, it is very good for we the Muslims. Recently, many years, Sheikh knows about this, we've been going to a lot of schools with the issue of hijab, issue of Ramadan fasting, issue of um, Girl child education is very hard. Some even parents don't want their wards to go to school. No, 16 years old, they keep out 17. Yeah, they keep out of Then they keep on leaving them. The main reason why, I, uh, Sheikh, when I see, like, I see a lot of sisters, I'm always happy to see girl child education is. There go are, to all the. There are married. Married women. Maybe probably I'm going to bring my wife. There are married She's downstairs women. waiting for me. Maybe probably she will come. Inshallah. Yeah, because if you look at it right now, right? Um, go to all the hospitals in Ghana. Your mother will go there. Your father will go there. Who is taking care of them? If we don't also go and seek knowledge, your mother will be there and they will do everything to her that which you don't even like. So we need to go get educated. We need to go um, go to school. We also some some of the men also need to do that. I heard uh, Sheikh Tofik, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have mercy on him. He was narrating a story to me before for us to us. 
There was one Islamic scholar who went to hospital and they have to do a surgery for him on his private part. And there is a lot of something. They, they don't have no choice. The sisters have to take everything off. He started, oh, astaghfirullah, astaghfirullah. <laughs> now, if we have men who are also nursing, then they can also do the same thing that the sisters are doing. Women taking care of women. Men taking care of what? Men. That is the main reason why it's Accra Newtown Islamic Hospital. We find it very hard. We try our best. Women taking care of women. Men taking care of men. This is Islam. I will never allow anybody, my wife, to go to what they call, what they, they call when your wife is pregnant, they or something. She goes up there and then a man will take my wife. No, I will never allow that. Me, no. For me, So, whatever you are doing here, wallahi, just open your eyes. You will receive it when you go, even not in this dunya, but you receive it in your grave. If you support or help anybody who come to the hospital, you can see sometimes some sister, some women come there, they feel pain, they do this. Oh, let me help her. Let me do this. Wallah, you got blessing. Not about the money. The blessing in that money make you money. Many people have money, but they cannot even sleep. I know. Wallah, they have to take some medication to sleep. Many people, by me, okay. Ask my wife and my brothers here. Yeah. When you go to the hotel, I'll be the first person to go. As soon as I sleep, I sleep. Okay. So I don't care. You, you cannot get me when you call me if I'm sleeping. My phone is always in silence. When I sleep for five okay. hours, six hours, good. You know, but many people who have money cannot sleep. Okay. Sisters, I'm so telling you. They have to take to some drugs. To this yeah, a lot of them. So, sisters, Allah, you should I be happy you to let the person for you being here. Think, that's when you go, as I was saying, think how many people you know, they are not where you are. Appreciate what Allah gave it to you. Whatever Allah gave you, la isha kartum, la azidan naku. But if you are here, so Allah, ni abin na mana gaji. Allah, let me, I can magari ma economy be happy. So you know what? Ni na kare ni skun na ma Allah, you know what? I just want to stop and do some business. It is okay. But you have the opportunity to serve Islam. But why can someone an opportunity? Not everyone. You, this is an opportunity for you. This is a way of Jannah for you. I'm building school nice. Some of them are in the hostel. Listen, it doesn't take much. Maybe how many years? Three years? Three years. Three years. What you are doing here, don't think about, oh, I'm, I'm here for nursing to make money. For money, you make money. Money is good. I love money. Without money, you cannot do anything. That is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says. Wa inna hu lihu bil khairi la So who doesn't like money? So whoever told you, oh, me, I don't like money. Wallahi, he is lying. If you say you don't like money, Allah says you like money. But you say you don't like. And Allah gave you the ayah, he says, it's day, all the time, you recite Rabbana Atina Fid Dunya as Fid Dunya. Ah, exactly. Ah, no, you say you don't like money. What like me? I love money. I like money. But halal, not haram. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also says, Kulihiya lilla zina amanu. Fil ayatu dunya. Ah, the satan yobal kiyama. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> This is ayah from Quran, not from me. So, don't think about you are here. I'm here at the nursing school. Oh man, no problem, man. Within two years, I'm gonna be done. I'm gonna start making a lot of money. Oh man, money is good. But when you think about money, wallah, you fail. Me standing here, I always said, I don't want to work anymore. It is by force I have to go back and work. Wallahi, if I have something, I will never work. I just want to dedicate myself to what a philanthropist to work from Islam until go until I until death take me out. Because nobody is going to do it for you until you do it for what for yourself. So the sisters up here, Wallahi, Sumatallahi, do not think about only oh when I'm done I'm going to Kalibu. 
I'm going to come for an auction. Hey, me, I'm going to be making this amount of check. You already calculated what you're going to make. You fell. <laughs> oh, I'm going to finish school, get my certificate, do this and that. I'm going to, I'm going to what? Help and support humanity. When you have that thinking, when you have that thinking, Allah will also bring you risk. Risk from your what? From whatever you want, you spend in your life. One time, check interview. Whatever you are doing here, wallahi, just open your eyes. You will receive it when you go, even not in this dunya, but you receive it in your grave. If you support or help anybody who come to the hospital, you can see sometimes some sisters, some women come there, they feel pain, they do this. Oh, let me help her. Let me do this. Wallah, you get blessing. Not about the money. The blessing in that money makes you money. Many people have money, but they cannot even sleep. I know. Well, like, they have to yeah, take some medication to sleep. Many people, by me, okay. ask my wife and my brothers here. Yeah, when you go to the hotel, I'll be the first person to go. As soon as I sleep, I sleep. Okay. So I don't care. You, you cannot get me when you call me if I'm sleeping. My phone is always in silence. When I sleep for five okay. hours, six hours, good. You know, but many people who have money cannot sleep. Okay, sisters, I'm so telling you. I they have to take some drugs. Come to this yeah, a lot of them. So, sisters, well, you should I be happy you to let the person for you being here. Think that's when you go, as I was saying, think how many people you know they are not where you are. Appreciate what Allah gave it to you, whatever Allah gave you. Okay. Okay. So, uh, but if you are here, so like, right. Allah, let me, I can make my economy be happy. So, you know what? You know what? I just want to stop and do some business. It is okay. But you have the opportunity to serve Islam. But I like some one opportunity. Not everyone. You, this is an opportunity for you. This is a way of Jannah for you. I'm building school nice. Some of them are in the hostel. Listen, it doesn't take much. Maybe how many years? Three years? Three years. Three years. I stay in boarding school for 12 years. Yeah. Serious. As Sheikh was saying, Accra Newtown Islamic Hospital. It is for all of us. Before you complete and everything, we start the process. When you are done here, you want to go there for clinicals, for whatever, you want to go for internship, you go there. That school is for you. It's for the most, it's for the Zango guy. He's trying to build those, like about six of them in the region, all the, what they call, across the, what, the, the, the region. We're trying our best. So by us trying our best, if we don't find some sisters like you, what, what can we do? If you are a Christian, you can come. You are a Muslim, you can come. Like my sister, you are a Christian, right, Mama? Huh? You are a Christian. So you are with the Muslims. What is wrong? There's nothing wrong. Ghana, we have to be happy. Muslims and Christians are all what interfaith, all collaborating together. Some countries, you cannot even find this. It is hard for you to see Muslims and non-Muslims. But look at what is going on in the world now. Look at the news. You see, Muslims and Christians, they cannot live together. But in Ghana, we have a Muslim, Christian, they go to the same madrasa. They go to, even some of them can recite Quran. I know a girl from Kumasi, she recites Quran, she's not a Muslim. But she lives in the Kumasi. On behalf of the management of the school and all the lecturers, uh, once again, we welcome him. And we are grateful for the short period he spent with us. Now, I will allow you students uh, to interact but, and ask questions. <laughs> So these are the things that I think uh, uh, we could. Then you also, I'm sure, you would also help us to sell the school so that we can get more students. If we get more students, of course, the fees may even come down. 
Uh -huh. Because when we are doing budgets, we look at the number of students. Last year, uh, during your badge, the interview was for almost, uh, the diploma students were almost 60. Uh, but less than 30 came. And uh, less than 30, uh, more than 32 left because they couldn't afford.